So I have a selection of rims to try out. Um, and I would think actually a lot of these are going to be absolutely fine because um, the button plate on the camus is uh, it's quite small, it's not too big, so it should be compatible with a lot of things out there. Because you know, if you buy this, you might want to find out for yourself. You know, might want to uh, try out a few different rims. So this will give you some ideas. Um, and it's something to bear in mind that these different um, rim designs have different sizes of spokes and the sweep of the spoke and you know the, the width of those spokes. It can be a problem for um, uh, button plates, and it can be you know, regardless of the brand of button plate, you do need to kind of select carefully. Um, as um, yeah, the issue is these um, controls on the button plate basically getting in, getting involved with the spokes and actually just covering them and obviously colliding with them and not enabling you to actually fit the button plate to the wheel rim. So uh, that's what we're doing here. So let's take that off and uh, just ignore the blue tack there. That's just to keep everything aligned because obviously uh, take the bolts out. That is a separate piece to that and it'll be loose and I just want all the um, holes to align so it's gonna make it easier for me to uh, get this all back on. So uh, let's start off with this one, which is a 300 mil. I'll probably end up using this one if it fits. This is a uh, uh, Trecento OMP. Uh, it's a very nice rim. I've had this for years, one of my first ones I've had. I've had this for many years, probably five or six years. And that is absolutely spot on. So let me put a couple of bolts in and I will show you. My uh, blue tack hack is working very well. So this is what it looks like. And um, yeah, that's pretty good. So the other thing to bear in mind when you are changing the rim on a button plate is access to the paddles. Because obviously if you have a, uh, a deep dish rim it means you'd be further away from the paddles and if you have a flat spoked one they're going to be quite close to the paddles so these are actually quite close anyway to begin with uh, the other um, the original one is uh is flat so they are quite close to start off with so and this is slightly slightly dished it's very you know not much but there is a little bit i mean that is perfect i mean i'd pretty much end the video and go with this if this is a but we're going to show some other ones I think this is the perfect one for that. So just have a quick look at that, guys. Um, you can see um, all the controls are still nicely spaced out and accessible. And the paddle shifters are absolutely spot on. So let's go on to the next one. Uh, we go, uh, we try out the Turn Racing R20. Okay, so the Turn Racing R20 and um, it fits really well on the front. There's plenty of room for my hands to get in there. So, um, although it's a smaller rim, this is I think uh, I think 305 or 300. I'm not absolutely sure. It's one of the two, and um, there's plenty of room for me to get my hands down there to grip and not uh, get interference from the button plate. So that's all good. Controls all accessible. Um, one thing there is an instant issue, which I can tell you right away because I can feel it there, is um, the paddle shifters are far too close. So um, Look at that, it's clicking my finger there. So that's no good. Um, I can't push them in any further as they are in the you know, closest position anyway on the slidey parts of the shifter where you can adjust it. But there is a hack which you can do, which is simple enough actually, is, um, is get a um, longer bolt and get some nuts and effectively just build up a little spacer or you know, from the nuts and then push it out you know, the paddle. Um, so it'll just be like round to about here and then you'll have plenty of room for your finger. So an easy fix there, you just need to make sure we get the right, um, uh, obviously the M size screw and just a longer one and uh, you know, just some nuts and it'll be fine. So that's an easy fix on that one, but um, as it is, yeah, a slight modification needed, but overall looking very nice. And uh, yeah, I do like the R20. Nice, agile, lightweight wheel, you know, it's nice. Good one, one of my favorites. This is a Sportline competition rim. Really hard to get hold of these days. They're just, you can't find them. Uh, but um, really, really nice quality 300 mil uh, rim with uh, lovely ergonomic grips. Um, the only issue of this one is it is such a fat um, kind of spoke pattern on here. 
it is tough to find uh, a button plate to make this work on and it is so close it is so close but unfortunately no cigar so let me bring it up and you can just see um oh, it's, it is really close the the actual holes line up almost but what we have a collision with is um these shrouds on here those shrouds on there um, are too big uh too wide basically and they're colliding with that bit on there on the edge so yeah it's, it's really really close we're talking about like i don't know a uh, half a centimeter and it'd actually be perfect and it would be a really nice combination with this sport line so unfortunately that one does not work so let's move on to the next one this is a 320 millimeter super quadro a very nice rim um you know it's a proper branded one guys this is not copy um quite expensive but yeah i'd say look on ebay i remember buying this a few years ago and i think i paid no more than about 35 pounds because it's second hand and it's still in great shape even after all these years uh so nice nice ergonomic feeling rim yes yeah, a nice one and uh works very well with the camus plates here See, no problems with my fingers getting in there. And part of that is because the rim is wider. That's kind of the issue with the other one because it's not as if um, we're really getting them further out. It's just because they are further away in that direction. So I still have access to them. I will say though, what they have done here with the um, paddles is they are very close in. Um, and let me, let me just show you this because this will be useful just as a reference point. Is, um, this is uh, an Asher button plate, sorry about the ping. Um, Asher button plate I've had for many years. Again, it's an old one, carbon fibre, a little bit dusty, so uh, excuse that. But um, what they've done here is, um, you can see, see the gap there between the back of the plate to the actual paddle itself. You can see it's not a lot there, not much room, but on this one, to get an angle which um, you can see it clearly there's a few more mil, so it's further out, and that's much more comfortable. Uh, so this is, they've got this right, and you, you can really tell by this, you just look at the actual assembly of the actual paddle itself, just see that depth to there, that height, and look at that to that. It's very different, I mean, double, it's double, it's gotta be double, and that makes an awful lot of difference. So um, I think, um, in a way, I think Camus actually should have pushed these uh, paddle shifters further out, they are close in i mean they do work with the rim you know you get with it but even on that one it does feel like they're slightly closer in than i'd normally want but it doesn't collide with my fingers or anything like that so it's okay but um like i said I've, they could have done they could have done it a little bit better i think but yeah it still works just fine Let's look at that and again yep quadro super quadro is working very well with the cameras here and uh, let's move on to the final rim Right, so this is the Sparco P310, and um, no joy on this one as well, and it's because of these parts here. You can see there's extra switches on here. They're not wired to anything, but you know they are part of this uh, rim, and um, they are colliding with that edge there. Well, obviously on both sides. So uh, let me give you a profile, and you can just see uh, it's wobbling on there as it's not able to get a flush fit on there. Um, if it wasn't for those. I guess I could mutilate this rim, but I'm not going to, uh, to remove that sort of stuff and then get it on there. So it, would, it could be doable if you really wanted to. It's a, you know, I do like this uh, P310, another, again, another one of my favorites. I do like it um, uh, because the bolts do line up and everything else is absolutely fine. This would be a perfect fit uh, for the button plate here. Anyway, guys, cheers uh, for watching and I uh, hope you found this one um, useful as always, you know, kind of a random video and I appreciate this sort of stuff is only going to only going to appeal to a small um, community of um, interested viewers, but um, that's why I do some of these things because they are slightly offbeat and they're slightly different. And I'm sure someone out there is going to find this a little bit useful. So there you go. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Take it easy. Happy swimming, and bye bye.